smoke. Come on, let's take a look. Let's hope it ain't more of O'Driscoll's boys. Well... It seems somebody left. Recently. And... That way. Sure, well, come on then. There's some tracks leading to the river. A few hours ago, most. Let's cross. See, they continue up that way. I can see the tracks here, aren't there? You think it's John? You tell me. These are horse tracks for sure, but it could be anyone. Let's just see where they lead. So. You were there, Javier. What really happened on that boat? We had the money, it seemed fine. Then suddenly they were everywhere. Bounty hunters? No, Pinkertons. It was crazy. Raining bullets. Watch out for this crevice. Dutch killed a girl in a bad way, but it was a bad situation. That ain't like him, though. Hey, stay on these tracks, come on! Yeah. <laughs> tracks go left, down here. Davey got shot, Mac and John both shot too. Sean, we don't even know. I'm surprised we escaped at all. By the time you boys showed up from the other side of town, we were only just holding on. Bad business, all right. Damn snow's coming in hot again. We'll lose these tracks if we don't move fast. Snow here. I don't know about this, Javier. I mean, we can't follow nothing. Now let's push on a little bit. Maybe we'll pick up the trail again. Almost there. Brother. Come on now. Hey, look. Over there. You see that? John was riding that horse when we left Blackwater. Let's... Let's see if he can hear us. Come on! Up there! You sure about this? 
It's coming from this way. Okay. It's slippery. Be careful. Yeah, that we're high up here. You're telling me. down here. Watch yourself. Careful here. Watch your head here. Okay from here. Watch your step. This is real slippery. Stay close to the wall. Up here! Come on! Come on! Guys! Over here! That sounds closer now. Come on! We're coming, John! a few days I know here take a drink of that thanks I'm not designed for this snow let's keep moving then come on John where are you John 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 can you hear me Marston! Come here! Down on the ledge! That's John! We're coming! Over here! Down here! All right! Hot down, Marston! He's down here! That's quite a scratch you got there. Never thought I'd say this, but it's good to see you, Arthur Morgan. You don't look so good. I don't feel too good, neither. I'm freezing. Don't die just yet, cowboy. Come on, compadre. Well, we can't go back the way we came. Let's try this way. Ain't you a sorry sight? Can't argue with you there. See, I told Dutch you weren't the right man for this. I'm sure you did. Oh, you all right? I think so. Come on. Hopefully this will lead us out. See that on the ridge? Shit. You head for the horses. I'll keep John's friends off until you're clear. All right, John, come on. Let's get you on that horse. Back 
to the others. I don't feel too good. You'll be fine. It's just like a, a dog bite. <sighs> you knew a fella? Got bit by a dog. Died an hour later. You ain't gonna die. Not yet. shelter now. Thanks for coming for me. Of course. That bullet in Blackwater, now this. Got a hell of a time. Arthur always says I'm lucky. None of us are lucky right now. Should ride in the water for a bit. Try to lose a scent. Don't want to leave a trail right back to camp. You know, we're gonna need to come up with a better story for that scar. So, freezing, bleeding, starving, damn near getting eaten to death ain't good enough for you. Here, let's cross to the left. Yeah, come on. Let's push hard and get back. See those buildings up ahead, John? That's where we camped. Nearly there. Come on, help him down. You're alive! You're alive! Come on, here we go. There we go. Ah, you oh. careful! It's your thighs. It's his leg! Oh, come on, let's get you warm. Thank you. Thank you both. This is a new low, even by your standards. Thank you, Arthur. Thank you. You got any other lost maidens need saving? <laughs> Not today. Have you and Dutch talked about how we're gonna get out of this? I was just discussing with Herr Strauss when the weather breaks. I suppose we'll have to keep heading east. East? Into all that... that civilization? I know. The west is where our problems are worse. Come on, Herr Strauss. Let's get warm. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. <sighs> We've been running for weeks. We found shelter and been resting here in some old abandoned mining town while we wait the thaw. Hardly the spring I had been hoping for. Thank you. Thank you for bringing John back. Finally, some relief. He's beat up, but he'll be all right, I hope. Well, try to stay strong. Thank you, Arthur. How you feeling, Jose? You've been coughing a lot. That's the cold. Thank you for bringing John back. Of course. Anyway, try not to worry. All right, Arthur. You 
okay in here, Molly? It might be warmer by the fire. I'm fine, thank you. Okay. Okay, well, try to stay warm. Okay, Arthur. Yeah, hopefully we could get out of this hellhole soon. Keep warm, all of you. Keep warm. Just a few more days and we'll get off this hill. I hope so. Stay strong. It's been a nasty few days. I know. And we've had tough times before. We keep moving and we keep together. Same as always. All of you. Ain't that so, Mr. Morgan? Of course. Hey, how's he doing? He's okay. Just need some rest. Thank you again, Arthur. That's all right. Keep him warm. Well, try to stay strong. Just get us off this damn mountain. That's real pretty, Reverend. But what on earth does it mean? I don't know, Miss Karen. I realize now that I truly don't. That it brings me comfort. You are a silly, silly man. You really are. <laughs> eaten by wolves. Never heard such a ridiculous idea. Who gets themselves eaten by wolves? I mean, really, who? I didn't mean to, Abigail. You never mean to, but you always do. Always trouble. Well, I've certainly made my mistakes. What's that supposed to mean? Whatever you want it to. You are an annoying man, John Marston. I mean, you just shut up and get some rest. You doing okay now? I think so. Thank you. Of course. Okay, well, try to stay warm. Good enough. Stay alert there, Javier. Another cold morning. How are you holding up? I'm okay. Better than most. Good. Okay, Arthur. <coughs> We're gonna starve to death up here, Mr. Morgan. We're okay. We have a few cans of food and a rabbit. For what, 10, 12 people? When I was in the Navy. I, I do not wish to hear about what you got up to in the Navy, Mr. Pearson. We were stranded at sea for 50 days. And you unfortunately survived. When we ran away from Blackwater, I wasn't able to get supplies in. Well, when government agents are hunting you down, sometimes shopping trips need to be cut short. We'll survive. We always have. And if needs be, we can eat you. You're the fattest. I sent Lenny and Bill hunting, and they found nothing. Well, Lenny's more into book learning than hunting. Bill's a fool. Unless those mountains are full of game that want to read, ain't no wonder they found Enough nothing. of this. We'll go find something. Come on, Arthur. Wait a second. Hold on. Uh, here. You're gonna need something to eat out there. Assorted salted offal. 
Starving would be preferable. Come on, let's go. You can't go hunting. Look at your hand. I can't stay here listening to you two. Look, if there's game in those hills, I'll find it. And you can kill it. You need to rest, Charles. You think this is rest? Come along. Here, you take this. I can't use it, and you'll have to. Oh, you're joking. Use a gun, and we'll scare off every animal for miles around. You're never too old to learn, I imagine. All right, let's head out. How are you holding up, Charles? I'm okay, apart from this hand. Stupid mistake. Still bad? It'll be fine in a day or two. I just can't pull a bow right now. I uh, sure hope I can. Never really got the hang of it. You'll be fine. <sighs> so, you reckon we're gonna find something to kill that ain't no Driscoll? Huh. There's meat up here for sure. Pearson doesn't know what he's talking about. Now the weather's eased off a bit, they'll be needing to feed. We'll head up this way, find some higher ground. <sighs> Been a wild few days, all right. That ride north from Blackwater, getting stuck in the storm, bringing John back in. You've had a lot put on you. I wish I could have done more. I didn't mean it like that, just a lot to think back on. I still don't really know what happened on that boat. Me neither. <sighs> well, Javier told me a bit, but it sure weren't good. Some patches of grass here. This is good. Come on, let's try this way. Keep your eyes peeled for movement. Hmm. The wind's died down too. That's good. No wind at all is bad, but if it's too strong, they won't move. Now shh, stay quiet. Stop here a second. I see something. <sighs> There's deer been here recently. How can you tell? Stay low and move slowly. You see the tracks? I think so. Maybe not. Focus. Once you get your eye in, you'll be able to track nearly as well in grass and woods.
down there. You see him? Quick, get that bow out, Arthur. Aim for their head or neck. We want a good, clean kill. Get good tension on the string before releasing. Just don't overdo it. Take the shot. Keep following the tracks, Arthur. Pretty good hunt there, boy. Okay, boy. Nice work, Arthur. Should be enough meat here to keep us all fed for a few days. You found him. I knew you'd be okay with that bow. It's easier when they ain't shooting back. <laughs> We've seen enough of that. Considering how things were looking a couple of days back, well, maybe our luck is finally on the turn. Seems to me we should be putting our effort into getting off this mountain now. Soon. People are still weak, and well, you've seen how snowed in those wagons are. They ain't going nowhere until we get some more thaw. Mm, you're probably right. And even if we do get off here, what then? We still have a big price on our heads. This is a big country. We'll find somewhere to lie low. Dutch and Jose will have a plan. You notice how Pearson's had a bottle in his hand ever since we fled Blackwater? We give the camp cook five minutes to grab the essentials and go, and he doesn't even bring a crumb of food. Good though we caught more than one. A lot of mouths to feed. That girl from the ranch now, too, but 
Not sure she'll be eating much. She has a wild look in her eye. You would, too. She lost her husband, her home, everything she had. Huh. So what do we do with her? Once we get out of here and we're back on our feet, we'll see. She might have family somewhere. So it was O'Driscoll's you ran into there? Yeah. <laughs> Last thing we was expecting. What is it with the O'Driscoll's? You ain't dealt with them? I suppose. Hell, we ain't run into them much the last six months. I guess because they've been over this way. Nah. I've heard a lot of talk about them. Well, we've been scrapping over scores with them for years. Big gang. Nasty sons of bitches. Their leader, Cole, and Dutch go way back. And not in a good way. A proper blood feud. So I heard. Watch out. Bear up ahead. Let's see if we can find another way around. You must be real hungry. Stay well back. Spring storms like this are the worst for animals that sleep all winter. Well, he's got a lot of meat on him. We've got enough here. No need to push our luck. Look out! Cut up here, off the trail. I'm gonna hitch time over here. Brought some food back, boys! <sighs> Come on, let's get these over to Pearson. I uh, thank you for showing me how to use the bow properly. I only showed you a little. It takes a lifetime of practice to master. Just drop it. What a surprise to find a camp rat loitering around in the kitchen. Is that any way to greet an old friend? I feel like we haven't spoken for days. I do my utmost to avoid you. Why, he loves me, really. It's his sad way of showing affection. No, it isn't. Now shoot, get lost. Uh, well, see you gents later. See, you got on just fine. Charles is a wonder. Have a drink, boys. You earned it. Jesus, what is that? Navy rum, sir. It's the only thing. The only thing. <laughs> Keeps you sane, it does. Yeah, oh. seems to have done a treat on you. You go rest that hand, Charles. I'll be fine in a few days. You mind helping me with the skinning, Mr. Morgan? It's easier if we do it together. Do I get to skin you? <coughs> You're always one with the jokes, aren't you? Come on. This really isn't a job for a man with a burnt hand. I'll see you both later. You skin that one, you, you dumped on the floor there. Too bad, Mr. Morgan. Yeah. They always said you were a butcher. You know, you could trade these or sell these in pretty much any town. If you're looking to make a legitimate bit of money, of course. Right now, I'm just looking to get off this mountain alive. Well, if you catch anything else, you bring it to me. Sure. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Heck, Arthur Morgan's first decent bit of hunting after all these years. Yeah. <laughs> Well, we're on the run now. Everyone's got to do their bit to survive. Just make a good stew. Folk need it. It's been a tough few days. <sighs> oh.